Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Newt Gingrich says that people like Clapper and Brennan are in danger of going to jail. Former Speaker Newt Gingrich joined Laura Ingram on Tuesday night to discuss the ever-expanding Obama deep state scandal. Now, in the last week, we have learned that the Obama campaign inserted spies inside the Donald Trump presidential campaign and used them to try and in to entrap Trump campaign officials and a fake Russia conspiracy. Now the Trump campaign officials are speaking out and it looks like there was more than one Obama spy inside the Trump campaign. This is unprecedented in the history of the United States. And of course, these Obama hacks tried desperately to hide this from the American people. Speaker, it is great to see you, but my goodness, this is wild. You have this this person, a professor in, in uh, England who's making these contacts with various members of the Trump team, throwing the whole timeline into question. Uh, originally we heard from Comey that it, the investigation really began on July 31st. Now it looks like this particular informant, spy, mole, whatever you want to call him, met with Carter Page early July. Well, look, it all <clears throat> keeps getting more and more open. Um, Presently, somebody remember there was a reference at one point, very early on, to senior Obama administration people being briefed. <clears throat> Presently, somebody will figure out to ask, what did Valerie Jarrett know, and when did she know it? I asked that last night on the angle. Well, no. And what did well? You're you're right on yeah. target. What did Barack Obama know, and when did he know it? Because what you're seeing happen is on every single level, and this is what happens with really big scandals. They keep unfolding and they keep unfolding and they keep unfolding. So we're now supposed to believe that uh, the director of national intelligence was lying to us. The head of the Central Intelligence Agency was lying to us. The head of the Federal Bureau of Investigation was lying to us. The de number two person of the FBI was lying to us. <clears throat> the, att the attorney general was lying to us because I mean, she was meeting with Bill Clinton in an airplane in private to talk about their grandchildren. I mean, at what point you just say, give me a break? And all of this, I believe, was being coordinated by Obama and by Valerie Jarrett and by the White House. You go right to Obama on this. So you think That's it's inconceivable right. that, the, that the chief executive officer of the country was not told that they, no. they had seen this Carter Page on the list of, of the foreign policy advisors and they decided to go into you know, overdrive. Look, I, I don't believe, if you took at the total number of things going on, I don't believe in an administration that was as tightly centralized as the Obama administration. You could have had as many different things going on, all of them illegal, without the president having been briefed. Furthermore, I'll give you one other example. The president is emailing Hillary Clinton on her uh, insecure email. They carefully reword the FBI report to avoid telling us that President Obama clearly had to know she was using an illegal email because he's writing to it. But Newt, the member Susan Rice said President Obama did everything by the books. Remember, she wrote that email to herself. I have to mention it in every show. All right, this is what Jim Clapper said today on The View about whether spying really occurred. Let's watch. Was the FBI spying on Trump's campaign? No, I, uh, no he, they were not. They were spying on a, a term I don't particularly like, but on what the Russians were doing, trying to understand were the Russians infiltrating, trying to gain access, trying to gain leverage. Newt, a legitimate inquiry. If the Russians are pulling the well, for, strings for, for the so, Trump campaign, all, that's all, what he says. First of all, and I, I've known Jim Clapper for years. I am astounded how bad he looks now. I'm astounded how dishonest and incompetent he looks. I mean, he was a great public servant for many, many years. But when the director, former director of national intelligence tells you he doesn't like to use the word spying, you have to ask yourself. <laughs> that is funny. I didn't think I mean, of think it about until it. you just I mean, mentioned that. He was the director of national intelligence. <laughs> what do you think he was yeah. in charge of doing? He was in charge of spying. Uh, and this whole thing is just, uh, people on the left, I think what happened was people like Clapper, and, and the former director of the Central Intelligence Agency. All these guys thought they could get away with this because Hillary was going to win. And when Hillary won, the fix would be in, everything would be covered up. And around 10 o'clock on election night, they all began to realize this could get really bad. 
and they were shifting gears from protecting Hillary, which had been their job for two years, to trying to destroy Trump. And now you're watching people uh, who I think in every case are in danger of going to jail. I mean, if, if the system works and people are actually tested on, did you tell the truth under oath? And then Clapper's a perfect example. Well, we have actually, he was talking about that big moment uh, where he didn't tell the truth about the surveillance program. He addressed this today. The president's calling me a lying machine. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> what that stems from is an exchange I had with Senator Wyden uh, five years ago in March of 2013 about uh, a surveillance program. And he was asking me about one, and I was thinking about another. So. I made a mistake, but could, could I didn't I, lie, so that's what occasioned... Uh, so what you're referencing, though, is that when you said, uh, when you're talking about James Snowden blowing the whistle on the NSA illegally spying, and in 2013 when you were asked about it, you said no. So that, that is a lie. And I, no, it I think, isn't a lie. I'm, I'm sorry. It okay. isn't a lie. I, I was thinking about something else. Now, I, want to, I want to buy a vowel okay, no, at this point. For, I have no first, idea First of all, I, I hope General Flynn watched that. Yeah. And I hope yeah. General Flynn's prepared to go back and say to Mueller now, Obviously, the Clapper defense, you know, whatever you thought I said, I didn't mean to say, and it wasn't what I said, and I don't know why you thought I said it, because I wouldn't have said it if I'd known you thought I said it, and therefore it can't really be a problem. This, I mean, this tells you how pathetic this is going to get. But this is the intelligence agency. I mean, these are like the most important people in our intelligence. That what, you say is such a consummate your, professional. Your, he sounds like a bumbling idiot. Well, what you're Sorry, watching. Sorry, I'm being cruel here, I guess, but that's just outrageous. What you're watching is a man who was a great professional who's now in a totally impossible situation and ought to get off television desperately trying to explain and defend the indefensible Joy all right so be sure to share like subscribe and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report but other than that i hope you guys have a great day let's make america great again peace